biofuels are one way to promote sustainable mobility. But what exactly are they? Produced from renewable or bio-based feedstock, biofuels can be blended into conventional fuels. Various types of renewable feedstock can be used. For gasoline sector, the list includes sugar beets, corn and wheat. Sugar from these crops is converted into ethanol by fermentation. Isobutylene is added to obtain ETBE. Both ethanol and ETBE can be directly incorporated into gasoline. For diesel sector, vegetable oils, waste oils and animal fats can be used. They are esterified to obtain fame or hydro-treated to obtain HVO. There are also gaseous biofuels. Biogas made, for example, by fermenting organic animal or plant matter in a biodigester. The biogas is then upgraded and injected into gas networks. When biogas is used as vehicle fuel, it is referred to as renewable NGV. Because it costs more to manufacture biofuels than conventional fuels, regulations incentivize their use. Objectives vary depending on the country. Energy independence, support for agriculture, land use policy or tackling climate change. Contrary to conventional fuels, the carbon dioxide emitted during biofuel combustion is offset by the carbon dioxide captured as part of the photosynthesis process in plants. The percentage of biofuel incorporated varies depending on regulations and specifications in each country. The name specifies the percentage. For example, E10 is gasoline with a maximum ethanol volume of 10% and B7 is diesel fuel with a maximum fame volume of 7%. So what is Total doing? As a major industry player, we add biofuels to gasoline and diesel fuel. Total produces and sells Total HVO100 fuel, a 100% renewable alternative to diesel fuel. This drop-in fuel can be used pure and without modifying the engine. Plus it helps reduce particulate and nitrous oxide emissions during combustion. Now you know more about biofuels. One of Total's development focuses and a pathway to achieving our ambition of becoming the responsible energy major.